Hi everyone. Welcome. Uh, we're very happy to be here today at the Microsoft Accelerators. Thanks again uh, to uh, Pradeep to uh, welcome us here. Where is he? He's, uh, He's not here. Okay. Starting a round of uh, flash talks. Uh, the first one is by Satish, who will talk about uh, AngularJS animation. So you have 10 minutes to talk about that. Okay. I'll be timing you. <laughs> Hello. Just let me know when to stop. Okay. Uh, before, we, uh, before we start, just have a quick um, you know, show of hands. And how many of you actually know about Angular? If you worked on Angular already? It's quite a bit, right? Um, I myself am new to it, um, so also a lot of the JavaScript thing. Uh, but I was very interested in how this, an, uh, I mean, how Angular is working compared to what I did in jQuery. So I started doing a couple of applications. Uh, it worked out real good uh, and real fast. Um, though for this particular ng animate, I'm not uh, completely prepared uh, because there's a power outage at my house yesterday, and uh, only this morning did the power come back. Uh, in any case, um, since there seems to be quite a few people um, who don't know it, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk you through. Uh, a basic Angular application and then how to quickly add uh, ng-animate to it. I um, hope you guys can see the code out there. Uh, so, as with most apps, yeah. Can you see it at all? Good. Okay. Um, the way you do an Angular, um, Angular JS app is similar to uh, the other things. First, you need to include the um, the script. I've already got it downloaded here. Slightly weird <coughs> typing at this angle. I mean, sorry. So come on. So um, once you have this set. I have a little problem typing it from this angle, actually. Anyway, um, do you know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm just going to copy over from things that I already have, uh, just to make it easier. Um, what I do have is uh, a small script module where I've got my controller, and um, the um, the directives that allow me to see that or to put that in the view. Okay, now um, with these two things, come on. With these two things in place, and after having defined this as an ng app, I can see um, um, all the items in the list without having written any amount of uh, code with manipulating the DOM. Uh, if you look at, if you compare to jQuery and other things here, uh, I don't have any IDs, I don't have any classes on any of the elements. Uh, just by putting the data directly into the um, into the scope, what is called the scope over here, um, this becomes a model. And from this model, I'm able to extract the data directly into the view. Uh, so I'm not doing any manipulation. I'm not looping through all the elements. I'm not doing a search for hash dev or dot class or any of those things. I get uh, all the data I want uh, right there. Now the uh, interesting thing is, let me do one other thing. I've added a class called big box over here just so that I can get a certain, you can just see it slightly bigger. Okay, that won't work. I'm going to add a style um, to the elements in the box just so that you know we can view it a little larger. So the script, we go there, we add the style. Just forget the this animate part, we'll come to that soon. So now we see uh, there's not very much I've added a CS thing, it just looks larger. So it'll be better for me when I do the animations later on. Uh, now, one interesting thing about Angular itself is how everything goes into the model, and most of your code should be based on the model itself. Uh, what I'm going to do now is add an input field uh, to the top of my app just so that we can filter the items. Okay. 
uh, at this point I will have uh, a text box in which I can get some text by which I can filter the data coming up in the views. Um, since I copied the code, I would prefer to have done this incrementally, but right now, since I've copied the code, um, in the ng repeat, what I've done is taken one item each from the items, which is here within the scope, and the scope has a direct connection because in the same my control. See my control here, I see my control here. Uh, this scope and whatever is in there, in this case items, automatically becomes a part of that view, or we can access it from within that view. Uh, then what we can do is just by saying filter colon pattern, this pattern already part of the model because we've added to the model over here as part of the input, you can filter the items directly. I'll just show you how it works now. If I type say H over here, it'll reduce the, it'll bring, um, you know, it'll um, uh, filter those items. The animation is already a part of it right now, um, but again, like I said, I would prefer to show it in, uh, incrementally. Uh, the idea being again that you don't do much of the manipulation. The framework AngularJS takes care of everything for you. Again, as uh, you've seen, I've written very, very little code to filter the data. All I've done is added one element to the model, uh, which is pattern, and filter the items uh, based on that. Uh, you've not run through the loop of, uh, you know, finding those items, doing all the uh, query, all the string pattern searching and index and all those kind of things. So this is absolutely easy. It's very fast to do this. Now the thing about animate uh, goes like this. Okay, uh, it's a new directive that is there in uh, version 1.1.4 of AngularJS. So it is not stable yet. Uh, if you used Yeoman, if you use Yeoman, uh, it won't come down. Uh, you need to do this separately. You need to take it from uh, the AngularJS or the Google CDN, um, which I have done already. It supports both CSS animations and JavaScript animations, but the yeah, CSS is much more cleaner. It's much uh, easier to do. Um, you have to use it with one another Angular directive. So for those people who um, who've done it, who've used this before or not, or and for those others, these are individual uh, directives like ng repeat, ng show, uh, ng hide. Uh, ng animate does not work by itself. Uh, it works along with some of these directives. So you need to have that, and then you can just say. Uh, for example, mine uh, in mine I've said ng animate use my anim as the um, animation, uh, the CSS animation. Then there are two items that you need to do: my anim enter setup and leave setup. So the way uh, it works is you just give this definition exactly in this syntax um, with my anim, uh, whatever name you've given, and it says at the beginning this should be the setup, at the end what should be the setup. And whatever transition that is there within that um, is automatically taken care of by Angular. Uh, again, you're not doing much manipulation, just saying uh, this is the beginning, this is the end, Angular, you figure it out. And um, um, what was that? Uh, so these classes are automatically added by Angular at the beginning, at the end. But you can additionally, so you've seen, uh, you can see this already. Uh, when I do this, you know, it does the transition automatically without, again, we are us doing too much of the animation code itself. You can also uh, increase that a bit uh, or, um, you know, uh, control that a bit in addition to say, at the beginning, when, when the setup happens, how should that animation start itself? So in this, in this particular case, I have added another, um, um, another class dot to uh, enter setup, I've said enter start. Like how should that setup itself begin to work? Um, this is how that works. Since I've already got it there, I'm just going to show it to you. So you can see with just one additional directive, uh, you're able to control how the setup part itself should behave. Uh, similarly, you can do for a lot of other things. Um, I don't know if some of the other things will work, but uh, you can do slide animation. This is already there on the site. Um, and other very simple animations just using one directive ng animate. Thank you. I don't time. So next is Arjun. He will uh, talk about uh, the node application he did. I will not say more.